Let's see how we create the typical cross section for the road or highway. Silver Plus called it corridors. First, we have to create the typical cross section. You can create as many typical cross section as you wish. Next, Silver Plus has a built in library for all the typical cross sections detailing. You can have the expressway typical cross section including the lane the shoulder as well as the median you can also apply the crusher run only basic shoulder and curb detailing guardrail as well as barrier you can also include bridges retaining wall bear in mind bridges and retaining wall does not include the structural detailing or design Silver plus will require the dimension or the geometry size of each of these detailing for it to calculate the volume calculation behind the retaining wall slope toe is also called a daylight in Silver plus they are various types of daylight or slope too. Silver Plus also include roadside train detailing or channel or ditch. Let's create the typical cross section for this piece of corridor. You can choose any of the typical detailing and you can change the properties or the engineering parameters for your lane you can set the width the default slope the binder and wearing cost value depth as well as the base and sub base depth this information is required for silver plus to calculate the volume calculation for the material of construction Let's set or use the default value into the model and click the appropriate location for Silver Plus to create the typical cross section drawing. Next, we're going to apply the road shoulder. There are so many types of road shoulder, we're going to use one of it and we're going to use the default value as well. You just need to mix and match the typical cross section into the Silver Plus application. You do not need to run AutoCAD command to draw the typical cross section. You just need to input the appropriate engineering parameters or values for Silver Plus to draw it for you. The last object that I want to create is the slope tool. You can, as usual, control the slope to parameters such as the maximum cut height, the maximum fill height, the cut slope ratio, and so on. You can also mirror the typical cross section without the hassle to run AutoCAD mirror command. Next, once we have the alignment, the profile, the finished road profile, as well as the typical cross section or assembly in the Silver Plus, we will be able to create the 3D corridor. Let's turn off the contour so that the model will be lighter. Next, we create the 3D corridor in the Silver Plus application. By using the command line input, you can easily create the corridor. We will do the cut and fill for the slope to the OGL surface. This is also called target surface. Any cut and fill along the changes 
will be targeted into the OGL surface automatically. Next, once you click the OK button, Silver Plus will create the benching and berms automatically in the layout. Let's take a look at the road model in 3D. Using the TIN technology in the T Silver Plus, you will be able to show to your client what you are planning to do for your project. As you can see, this is the typical cross-section for the road, having the berm and benching automatically created at the side of your highway. You can even save this image to JPG or PNG format or BMP format for you to print in the report. Next, we're going to create the slope hatches or pattern into the model. Using Silver Plus, uh, Silver Plus application, it's a hassle-free task. Silver Plus will create all the necessary slope patterns accordingly. Let's say we want to do the water flow for the berm. You just need to define the boundary between two lines and change the style to the required hatching. You can also determine the location for your berm starting from which chain edge to which chain edge. Silver Plus will generate the berm labeling or hatching automatically for you. You can create as many slope pattern as you wish. You can also change the style of the slope pattern and the coloring system. To change the style is very simple. You just need to change the appropriate value to apply to the model. 